fat goat. Yeah, there's a lot of fat goats up there. No, it's Band-Aid. He was out there feeding off his mom again. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a fat boy. He needs to stop it. Way up there, if you can see him. <laughs> I'm not done with the goat stalls yet. At least the goat stalls are to a point where we can keep the goats separated. So that's good. We need to get our potatoes in the ground. This is going to be the potato garden. Wendy is a little bit ambitious, but that's good. I'm encouraging her to be ambitious. The cardboard, of course, is saved from boxes from when we moved and a lot of things that we've been ordering that we've needed here. For the most part, it's about two layers thick and I've peeled off all the tape, pulled out any staples. That should keep the grass from growing up through and into interfering with the potatoes. We bought some compost. I've got a feeling that I'm going to have to go back and get more compost because this is a, a really big area. So this is the start. I did end up having to go back for two more yards of that compost. And Wendy has got the seed potatoes cut up. We've got red and yellow potatoes to plant today. We're gonna try and do some sweet potatoes too, but they're not quite ready to go in the ground. in the potato garden. They must be goat snacks. What do you think? No? No, they're not goat snacks. Oh, yeah. A little 
windy right now. So we're going to mound up the, the hay and goat poop that we've mucked out of the goat stalls on top of this compost. Should I shove it up your nose? <laughs> Just don't shove it up any place else. The truth is, using the tractor for this is probably a little bit of overkill, but it's a good excuse to practice with the tractor. I've been really behind on my video editing and posting. The potato garden video kind of got put on the back burner, but you know, that's kind of a good thing because I'm able to tack on this clip as, a, as an update. It's been about a month since we planted those potatoes. And look how nice they look from a distance. We'll take a closer look. We're going to have to hill these up with more of this wasted hay and goat poop pretty soon. I think they're coming along nicely. How will our potatoes do this first year in Missouri for us? We'll just have to wait and see. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.